Here we are, episode whatever it is. We're here for a story. It's story time with fucking X Jack. Hey! Fucking fun. We're gonna fucking tell you a story. Because it's fun to do that. It's fun to have fun. Fun is Fun! Happy things are happy! Well, today's story is a, from... It's the Wolf! It's the Wolf! It's the Wolf was a show that was on at the same time as Cattanooga Cats! And somehow, my random number selector thingy selected this thing just at random it's crazy 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 ain't it ah. it's my little storybook it's a little story today's story is the story of the pow wow wolf uh, yeah. Once upon a time. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. It couldn't be that bad, could it? Me doing rain dance. Bring him plenty rain. Ooga wooga. Oh. Did you really, did you really just say Ooga Booga? Native Americans are not cavemen. What, what the hell? Ooga Booga? Did you just really just Ooga Booga? What? <coughs> so, once upon a time, this little sheep was being really fucking racist one day. And he goes scampering off to look for buffalo. <sighs> okay. okay. Little sheep. It's a different time. So, little sheep's going to look for buffalo when the wolf comes along and he's dressed like a cowboy. And he tells the sheep, he is Buffalo Bill. But the sheep, the sheep knows that Buffalo Bill, he looks like this. So, he realises that it's the wolf and he screams for help. And help comes, his big old Bristle dog, bestie, best friend comes running along to save the day. And he grabs the wolf, he tosses him far, far away. Far, far away. In a handy, having someone to got your back. So you can fucking act like a goddamn bigot to your own. Uh, to your fullest heart's extent. And you just have a big muscle guy to bash the bones of anyone who says that you are being highly insensitive right now. Oh, it's all about who can get hurt the most. It's all about big muscle, you know what muscle? Muscles fade and you get sick. And the patient one, the patient one sits and bides his time and waits until the big muscle thing gets sick and scared and needs help and then you bash them you bash and bash and bash until they never fucking get up again that's how you deal with a fucking muscle up bitch <laughs> of 
course I don't condone that kind of behavior. That would be rude. And being rude is not cool. So, I've got little jingle booties. <sighs> anyway, this race is shit. It's still going on. We're just gonna do the whole episode just shitting on the natives, okay. So, I'm kind of rooting for the wolf at this point. I think we all should be. The sheep rows down the river in his little canoe. And the wolf stalks him from beneath the waters. Again, the sheep screams for help. And the dog appears out of nowhere. Nowhere! She's magically there. And again, he tosses the wolf far, far away. Luckily, the wolf is immune to fall damage, so he's fine. Now. Then, the wolf pretends to be a custa vendor. Because custa is like an ice cream thing and General Custa. General Custa was a guy that fought. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. Okay. He grabs the sheep. Takes off. The wolf. He drives into an abandoned mine shaft. The dog's chasing him. He drives to the abandoned mine shaft to lose him. And scre sheep keep screaming. It's the wolf. The wolf. Cause he's a sheep, cause he, so instead of just saying wolf, he says wool of, cause wool and sheep, faggot, you get it, go you, you fuck. I like you. You're cool. Anywho, he drives to the mine shaft, but then he drives off a cliff. He drives straight off a cliff, but the dog he miraculously shaves, shaves, saves the sheep. Shy, shy, shaves the sheep bald. He saves the sheep. He catches them in midair with his little crook hook thingy. Mingy bob. And the wolf, he no fall damage, so he's cool. Wolf falls and sheep gotta be saved. Sheep, uh, sheep has fall damage. He's a precious little snowflake. Gotta be protected even when he's being super fucking offensive to people, Kit. Fucking hurt his feelings. You, you hurt his little spirit. You tell him he's being a really big fucking asshole right now. Oh no. Oh no. He's hurt his feelings. No. Then, what did the wolf do next? Well, he simply waited. He simply waited for the dog to go off and take a big dump. It's all just waiting. Just wait for the opportunity. And then he just swoops in and grabs a sheep and fucks off. He just fucks off. Just snatched the lamb and fucks off and doggies there. Oh. Oh. Just laying a big growler out in the lawn. Well his friend is getting taken away. Taken away to the little wolf den. Be torn asunder, his little limbs, his crap on his arm, snapping arm, his little flailing little half limb there, ah! little sheep screams, and then a tear up in his belly, of guts lay out as he's still alive, staring at his fucking intestines, being devoured by a wolf, and then he slips away, it's over. No more lammy, racist fucking lammy lamb. And that's it, the end. Lamb dies. He deserves it. Is racism a capital offense? No, but... Uh, you don't really feel bad for lammy, do you? Because lammy's really fucking push... Ooga booga, lammy! Ooga booga, fuck you! So, what did we learn today? Well, 
if you're gonna be a weak ass little fucking bitch hiding behind a big dumb brute enforcing your idiocy upon the rest of the land. One day, that big hunk of muscle ain't gonna be there to protect you. And that's when the wolves are gonna come in. That's when you'll be frightened and shaking and scared in your little bed, hoping they'll just go away. But all the shit you've done, all the fucking annoyance you have brought upon us, and now you think that you will be left alone, that you'll be forgiven for your goddamn rampant, mind-numbing, moronic activity that is your life. There's only fucking one choice in this world. You either be a fucking fucked up little frayed little sheep fucking acting like a bitch and cucking, annoying the fuck out of everyone. And then one day you're gonna be sitting there and they're gonna fucking come for you and they're gonna tear you apart. But you have another choice. You could be the fucking monster teaching these mother little fuckers a lesson. Teaching them that they don't fucking mean shit. Their words are meaningless because you are the fucking big dog and you're gonna show them that the fucking world doesn't need their kind. They're fucking fucked up assholes. Self centered. Not paying attention to the fucking pain they are bringing upon everyone around them. Fuck those people, devour them, and don't feel bad about it. Cause it's been way too fucking long of them stomping all over us. The fucking downtrodden with not a fucking pot to piss in. And it's all time now. The pendulum swings back. We are taking control back. We have learned the intricacies and ins and outs and technicalities of all this while you've grown fat and stupid and stinky in your own farts. We have grown strong and hungry and we are waiting for your dumb muscle to sicken off and die and then we will come for you. Well, that was a great show today. We had a lot of fun. Next time, another show. We might review some movies and TV shows. I might start doing that again. Not for the whole episode. Not uh, get, devoting a whole episode to a review of something is like way crazy because I'm like, I gotta fill up all this time talking about something. I'll, I'll just make a little blurb or something and then do a story. So we have like a whole little show so nobody gets bored and starts to resent me or nothing. Okay? So, next time, no more live streams because I fucking suck at live performance. Oh, look at that. I remember that. <laughs> no, no more of that. I'm gonna just fucking do my thing and be awesome at it because I am a fucking awesome motherfucker. Yeah. I'm not gonna fucking smoke weed to calm myself down before episodes anymore. I'm gonna be a fucking pissed off crazy motherfucker because that's what people want. They don't want me to be nice and personable and relatable. They want me to be a fucking crazy cartoon character, a force of nature. Because I have realized something. I will never attract someone that is like me. There is no one like me. I am alone in this universe, and that's okay. Because I have found out that the universe needs someone like me. I am the one thing in this universe that it has been lacking. And I will bring what it needs. I am what somebody desperately needs. And they don't need to be like me. They just need to hear. They just need me. They don't, yeah, me, me. It's not about me, it's about me helping others. Me being me, me being the me that they need me to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's it for this episode. Thank you, have a nice day.